Well, my vision for the United States as a mindful nation uh, is that we can take uh, some steps uh, by, I think, re-energizing our institutions uh, here in the United States. So whether it's our military, our veterans uh, administration that deals with uh, all of the veterans who are coming back from war and who have come back from war, we have about 22 suicides a day. Uh, with veterans in the United States, which is unconscionable in my estimation. We need to re-energize and get a new approach to uh, healing our veterans. Uh, and Krishna is doing a lot of work uh, on that front uh, with helping with veterans. Um, and, and so we need to move down, down that road as well. Um, but how do we re-energize these in institutions? And I think for a couple of reasons. One, I think if we do it properly, if we become a little more clear, a little more focused on what the issues are uh, that are holding us back and spend a little bit of time understanding those, whether it's the money that's involved in politics or other things, but then focusing on what our strengths are and what the future is and how we can focus on those things to enhance those and to grow those. And so my vision for a mindful nation in the United States is how we can kind of get ourselves uh, detached from the current negativity that's happening in our country, the kind of the fear-based thinking that we have, there's a lot of anger, how we can kind of get ourselves out of that mindset and start focusing on really what, what we can improve on and what our strengths are and how do we grow that and then give people an opportunity to share in that, in that uh, growing economy and growing uh, kind of... Uh, quality of life and well-being that we would have in the United States if, if we were a little bit more mindful and our institutions were a little bit more re-energized by being clear on, on what the real missions of those institutions are.